Ed Coverdale, a former boutique assistant from North Yorkshire, this purveyor of loon pants became a lead singer of Metal Monster's Deep Purple in 1973. When the band imploded three years later, Big Dave went his own way. His new band was Whitesnake. Very impressive. We had a name for him. Uh, we called him Elsie. Maybe he took his own sens sensuality, sexuality, a little bit too seriously. He said, would I lie to you just to get into your pants? I don't fancy it, personally, but, you know, there you go. There isn't a theme park between my legs that we call Manland, you know. I've just had the same lust as everybody else, really. He'd achieved this accent, which I find utterly remarkable. It's, it's kind of Roger Moore of rock and roll. You know, it, it, it's... Um, he, the guy's from Redcar. Here's a tune, a modern love song. It's called Lie Down. There's a lot of my songs seem to connect with people. And I think predominantly the more uh, heartbreaking songs or from the more sadder times in my life or experiences, and particularly when I sing low or mid-range rather than the Tarzan impression. David suggested doing a cover of a Bobby Bland song. Bernie started playing it and David singing it, and, um, oh, it's good. And I inserted a little riff, which really I'd got from a Beatles song called Come Together. Dun, 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 dun. At that time, White Snake was a great fun band. The characters involved were so diverse and so wonderfully crazy against each other. It just had to be a good time. Coverdale's White Snake, with former Purple bandmates Pace and Lord and guitarists Marsden and Moody, soon went international. There's a university town in Oklahoma called Norman. We started our show, we're hitting the big Kerrang! And David would go, Hello, London. You know, hello, New York. Of course, Kerrang! He went, Hello, Norman. And we all, it was a split second of. <laughs> we couldn't play, that was it. For Loving is, is a classic three-way song. You know, it was a bit of a song I had, a bit of a song that Mickey had, and the words from David. And, you know, he, he wrote the words, you know. You know, that's, that's cool, you know. I wouldn't want to put my name on some of those words anyway. So I don't mind provocative lyrics if they're a little bit subtle, but I think later on it was a little bit too crass, you know. Some of the titles, I, I mean, slide it in. Come on. Hey, I never said I was Billy Shakespeare, mate. Our audience was... I guess 97% male. And David was doing this, come on, you know, this kind of, do you think I'm sexy kind of thing, uh, to the front row, which is almost <laughs> all young guys going. A writer from Sounds did describe White Snake set as sounding like a loud chunder on the horizon. Elements of the British music press started a witch hunt on me, which I still have no idea why. I can't have slept with all the wives. I mean, I'd met some of them. They weren't exactly oil paintings. White Snake did uh, turn into, you know, like a heavy metal comic. You know, if people confuse White Snake with Motley Crue or any of these things, looking at the pictures, it's entirely, you can understand why. Since those golden days in the late 80s, Dave's serpent has drooped and sales have plummeted. Still, Coverdale will continue to do his own thing. His White Snake has extremely thick skin. Songs live and musicians and images fade. And I, I assure you, the shorts and the goatees are going to be as just as amusing to the next generation as the big hair and the Christmas tree lights were to the 90s bands. He, he's a great singer, you know, always give 100%. And I think he's a very, well, he's a very rich man now, isn't he? You know? Hi there, my name's David. I'm in town for the night.